coach. What's up, Internet? It's Josh from Top Four Fitness. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. This will be my very first Quiz the Coach Q&A, where you can ask me anything you want on my Facebook page or in the comment section below. And every couple of weeks, I'll post a video answering as many questions as I can get to. But today, I wanted to address a big topic, a supplement that everyone seems to still be talking about and there's a lot of confusion about. One of my clients, Niku, emailed me a question about this just the other day. It says, Josh, one quick question if you don't mind. I finally got some creatine mono today and it says that I should be taking two doses uh, in the loading phase and then back off to one. I'm back to the weights, yada yada. Also, I read that bloating is an issue. My stomach is a little upset right now, uh, an hour after the first dose, but I read that's to be expected. Niku, I'm gonna get to your question specifically in a second, but since this is a supplement that still seems to have a lot of misinformation and confusion around it, I wanted to really get into it a little deeper in this video. So what is creatine and what does it do? Well, first of all, it's important to note that creatine is naturally occurring in your body. Your body produces creatine, it gets it from the foods you eat. For example, red meat is very high in creatine. It's completely natural, it's not a drug. It's not gonna make your nuts shrink, you're not gonna get creatine rage. <laughs> Hydrate is one of the most well-researched sports nutrition supplements available. This has numerous studies done and has proven conclusively to be safe for everyone. So what exactly does it do? Well, first of all, when creatine is stored in your body, it's stored in the form of creatine phosphate, or CP. The basic unit of energy the body uses is ATP. When your body breaks down ATP for energy, it gets converted into ADP, it loses a phosphate ion. This is where creatine phosphate comes into play. Creatine lends its phosphate ion, boom, into the ATP, whoop, produces more ATP. So you get more energy. That quick source of energy is replenished if you have enough creatine phosphate in your body. Now I'm not gonna get too in depth into this, but there's a great video produced by Brian at Humorous Fitness. I'm gonna post the link right here and down below in the description section. I suggest you go check that out if you wanna learn all about how creatine works, its function in the body, uh, side effects, etc. Great video. Shout out to Brian. So what about the side effects for creatine? Well, like Niku had mentioned, there may be some bloating or stomach upset during the uh, initial loading phase if you decide to load. And that leads me to your other question, Niku, loading. Now, in my opinion, and a lot of the literature suggests that loading is not necessary. Yes, it may get the levels of creatine phosphate in your system and your body stored a little bit more quickly, but it's completely unnecessary. You can go with a five grams a day maintenance dose. It'll just take a little longer for the levels of creatine to build up in your body. But in the end, and you'll end up in the same place and you can avoid some of that stomach upset and that bloating that people get during that the loading phase. Another way to avoid the stomach upset that some people may experience with creatine is to go with a form of creatine called creatine HCL. I'll post a link down below to examine.com where it has some of the research on creatine HCL. Basically it suggests that creatine HCL may be absorbed a little bit more easily than creatine monohydrate and you may avoid some of the, the stomach upset or the water retention that you might get with creatine monohydrate. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for a creatine HCL from my sponsor SD Pharmaceuticals at the end of this video. If you want to skip right to that, click the link right here or preferably watch the entire video, learn as much as you can and then find out how you can win a bottle of creatine HCL at the end of the video. So now I want to get into five benefits of supplementing with creatine. Some of these you probably have heard about but I bet you there's a couple here you didn't know about. Number one we already touched on briefly. Creatine leads to a quick source of energy by providing more ATP by lending that phosphate ion, which leads to greater strength and faster recovery in your workouts. I will link to the PubMed study down below, which indicates that creatine will lead to increased strength and faster recovery. Go check that out if you want more information. Secondly, supplementing with creatine does lead to greater muscle mass than if you were not supplementing. For most people, this is true. Some people tend to be non-responders. That's usually because they already have a lot of a high level of creatine already in their body. But for most people who supplement with creatine during a strength training routine will get more muscle mass than those who are not. Number three, bet you didn't know this one, that creatine can lead to a slight increase in your IGF-1 production. IGF-1 is insulin-like growth factor. It is an anabolic hormone. It will contribute to greater tissue recovery and greater muscle building. It's something that you do want to have if you want to get bigger and stronger. Okay, number four, creatine may inhibit myostatin production. Now, what is myostatin? 
Well, have you seen those pictures of those freakishly well-muscled bulls? Like they look like a bull on steroids? Well, those are examples of animals that had a decreased production of myostatin. Myostatin is a protein synthesized in your body that helps regulate the amount of muscle that you can produce. So basically, the more myostatin there is, the more you have a governor or an inhibitor on how much muscle you can potentially produce. Now, we need this to some extent so that we don't just continue to develop muscle uncontrollably, although that sounds kind of awesome. But if you can decrease or inhibit myostatin, statin production slightly that can potentially increase the amount of muscle that you can produce and creatine does have an inhibitory effect on myostatin and once again I post a study down below for you and finally number five creatine can also enhance brain function so it's not just good for your body it can also boost your brain that's pretty awesome Creatine sounds pretty damn good, right? So how can you win a free bottle? Like I said, I'm giving away three bottles of creatine HCL from my sponsor, SD Pharmaceuticals. All you gotta do is be a Canadian citizen with a Canadian shipping address and subscribe to my channel. The link is right here. Also subscribe to SD Pharmaceuticals. Boom, the link is right here as well. And then after you've done that, post a comment down below explaining why you just gotta have this creatine and boom, you're entered in the contest. I hope you found this video informative. There's a lot more information down below and I highly suggest you check out the links in the description section. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, subscribe and post your comment down below and good luck on the contest. Is a vegan diet right for me? Or rather, is it right for you? It's certainly not right for me. So when my client asked me this, I had to tell them, to be honest, without knowing everything about your biology and your digestion, um, your eating history, etc., I could really only answer with, hell no!